Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I've literally already filmed this video before. I filmed this video actually a week ago. I thought I was gonna be really productive, get all the content done, but there was a really horrible loud sound in the background of the video, so I just thought I'd refilm it. And this is literally the last time I'm gonna be refilming this video because, yeah. I don't have time to do this again. <laughs> so as you can probably tell from the title of this video, this video is essentially a day in my life as a legal intern at an international law firm. I thought I'd give a bit of an introduction. This video is not going to be a typical vlog, but it's just going to be essentially me walking you through my day with some clips of some things I do in the day and also just a little like summary at the end, how I found the whole experience. And yeah, I just thought I'll also update you guys on what it's like kind of doing the work of a lawyer and how it feels like and hopefully give you guys a bit of insight if you're applying for vacation schemes or internships as to what you can expect to see or expect to do whilst being a intern at a law firm. Obviously I've secured a training contract, you may know that from previous videos, but this summer I was also fortunate enough to be selected to be a summer intern at this law firm which I've been working at and it's just been such a good experience for me to get a bit of a flavour for what it's like to be a lawyer. So starting off at the beginning of my day, I start the day around like 6.30 or 7 when I wake up. I live outside of London so the commute in is actually a bit of a commute for me. I don't really get a chance to eat breakfast which is really bad but I pick something up on the other end to make sure that I'm still eating well and actually have enough energy to do some work. So yeah, around 6.37 I'll wake up, do what I need to do to get ready and out of the house, probably get on the train around... I don't know, 7.30. During my journey, I like to listen to music. I've also been getting into reading. My English degree hasn't completely killed off my passion to actually want to read. So I read a bit as well. I tried to get a coffee because I am already so tired. And I also get my favorite Pret yogurt pot. It's the easiest breakfast you could get, but it just tastes so good. And it just doesn't feel as unhealthy as getting like a McDonald's breakfast. So I go to Pret, get a couple things from there, get a coffee and get some fruit or something or some yogurt and then I start making my way to the office and my office is close to Liverpool Street, Bishopsgate so that's quite a nice scenic area, there are loads of skyscrapers everywhere and it can feel a bit intimidating because there are so many people that are just moving past you and walking really fast and you just like slow down, kind of like by your side and you feel almost a bit claustrophobic and you almost feel a bit like a robot because it, everyone's literally doing the exact same thing. So I go into the office, go up the lift and then I log in for the day. I'm really fortunate as well that I have a really nice view of the city of London. So sometimes I can see like the gherkin or the shard from my window, which again just adds to the aesthetic of being a commercial lawyer in London. So I arrive into the office for like 9.30. Then I log in, answer some emails, which I need to get to maybe from tomorrow or the day before and then just start doing any work which I actually need to do. Quite often I would have already known what I need to do the day before or two days before so it's just a case of going through work but if there's no work which I actually have I just talk to my supervisor and ask them if there's anything that they need me to do or see if there's any meetings that I need to attend to or speak to HR and just get in dialogue with them but most of the time I have something to do. Obviously I can't tell you the specificities of what I've been working on because of confidentiality, but I think I was literally just drafting a document and looking through some reading as well. Attention please. There has been a fire reported in the building. While this report is being investigated, please remain at your workplace. Further information will follow shortly. And that basically took me to around lunchtime. So lunchtime is obviously a great time of the day because you get a bit of a break from all of the intense work that you're doing. And Liverpool Street slash Bishopsgate have some really good food options. The day which you're seeing, I went to this place called Island Poke and the food was really good. It's also quite healthy, I think. And they basically do a mixture of Southeast Asian food in like these like poke bowls and I had some of that which was really nice and also my brother who works in London as well was around so I met up with him which was nice and a little break. My lunch is probably about 45 minutes or so so after that got back to the desk and started to get on with some of my afternoon work. I, it was a Friday so I actually didn't have as much thing, as much to do in the afternoon so I finished quite on time, maybe a bit slightly earlier, left the office and made my way to my evening plans. 
So on a Friday, I really try to utilize the fact that I'm already in London and meet up with friends in London. I have some uni mates that live close to the area or I have friends from home that are also close. So, so that day I went to an Italian restaurant. I went to an Italian restaurant called Caccioni's. It was really nice. I had a pizza and a pint of beer, which was definitely needed after that long day of drafting and reading. And then after me and my mate chilled for a bit, we went to the park. We also just went to get a couple more drinks. And yeah, that was basically the end of my evening and draws a conclusion to the end of my day. I feel that obviously Fridays are a slot more chill in a law firm compared to other days, especially with the whole split working in terms of home, working from home and working in the office. So not as many people are in on a Friday, but I would say that's a fairly typical day as a legal intern working in a law firm. It can be quite intense in terms of the hours you do, but I do feel you get quite used to it and you understand where you can take breaks and where you have to like work really hard. So once you can kind of get that balance, it's okay. So I just thought I'd round off this video with talking a bit about how I found the experience, what I feel about working in a law firm, has it put me off law and all of that stuff. Firstly, overall, I found the experience really, really enriching and so insightful. I feel that applying for law and applying for commercial law firms, I definitely knew I had an interest in it, but I didn't actually know the intricacies behind what it's like to work in a law firm it's way more than just being academically smart or being proficient in the professional work i think it's also about being able to talk to new people being able to work in quite a at times busy environment just being able to also function in a working environment and that's and the skills which I feel like I've developed over this internship is to essentially work in those type of environments a bit better. So hopefully when it comes to me being a trainee in my training contract, I'll be a bit more developed and just hopefully know a bit more about what I'm actually doing and just and just be able to fix up more. I'm also grateful as well to be able to have a taste of some of the work. A lot of the work is actually quite different from academic work you've done in the past. I think the main takeaway from when you're working compared to when you're studying in school, university, is that often there's a very prescriptive answer in school, university, which you're trying to work towards, or there's a kind of correct or right way of doing things. But when you're in a law firm, sometimes they just give you a task and they actually may not be a direct answer, but it's your job to essentially find and read around things to see if there is an answer, if there isn't an answer. Because a lot of the work at law firm is quite challenging. And because it's quite challenging, it means that a lot of people may have not actually done specifically what you're doing before. So you actually have a lot of autonomy as to how you choose to work and a lot of responsibility in terms of trying to find the best solution for the client which you're working for. I think another underrated factor which I found a bit hard going into the internship was that I feel like I've only ever really known school and university and working within those environments. I didn't take a gap year and work in a gap on my gap year. I didn't do a year abroad or a year in industry and university. So I feel that firstly, I'm still quite fresh into the industry. Whereas obviously there are a lot of lawyers who've been working for multiple years and have a wealth of experience behind them. And they're not only just obviously used to the work that they're doing, but also used to working as a whole. And I think there is a bit of a transition and a bit of a gap between university and working compared to maybe the gap between school and university. I think I'm still trying to adapt to that and still trying to get acquainted with the working world, what it's like to work, you know, every single day and working long hours essentially. Obviously the internship, I didn't really have that many long hours, but even still working so consistently, I did at times find it a bit draining because I just come out of university, um, obviously I had a bit of a break before starting the internship, but naturally I've been working quite hard before university. The work pattern when you're working at a law firm or a bank or anything for that matter, compared to the work pattern in university is a lot different. In university you very much have control over what you want to do, when you want to do it and basically your whole academic program no one's pressuring you to do anything and if you really need a break you can kind of take a break whenever you want whereas I feel like in a law firm there is a bit more pressure as to having to deliver work at a certain time and you can't just chill out when you want to chill out you have to chill out when the break or the gap comes that can be quite mentally challenging at times because it means that you do have to push through hard times even when you want to just relax or rest 
but it hasn't put me off law. I think it's just reflected what I'm getting myself into and essentially allowed me to prepare a bit more mentally for what it's going to be like as a trainee or as a lawyer for that matter. So essentially that was a walkthrough of my whole day as a legal intern. I'm so grateful to be on the programme. I'm coming into my final week now and it's going to be sad to say goodbye to all of the lawyers which I met and all of the really inspirational people I've met along this journey. But I'm excited to be starting law school after that and also excited for the little break I have in between this internship and law school. I would also like to reinforce that if you're thinking about legal internships you should definitely apply my internship I've done such a spread of work I've done work in different practices I've done work in I've been to court things which I just never thought I'd be able to do and things that you don't always get the chance to do on a vacation scheme you can kind of get a chance to do an internship because it is longer mine's been six weeks so it's been such a long time and I just would recommend it to anyone who would like to get more of an understanding of what it's like actually working in a law firm. That's the end of the video guys. Thank you guys all for watching. If you like the video, definitely give it a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and leave a comment down below. And follow my Instagram at i.vlogs to keep up to date with everything that I do in the week. Thank you guys all for watching. See you all next time. Bye.